The Toronto Blue Jays hosting the Seattle Mariners, and the Mariners are plus 185 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 215. The over-under is eight runs. Now, Seattle getting a run and a half is minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they lose this game by one, you win. They win the game outright, you win. Toronto laying a run and a half is minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Now, Gonzalez did not pitch against Toronto last year. And Gosman did pitch against Seattle last year. However, it was as a member of the Giants. Now, he went uh, six and two thirds, one run, one earned. They lost that game eight to seven in 10 innings. Overall, the Mariners are on a two game losing streak. The Blue Jays are on a two game winning streak. Head to head, Toronto is on a three game winning streak against Seattle. Seemingly, Seattle has been funking against the Blue Jays, and I've just been on the wrong side of this. The team laying a run and a half is six and four. These teams are five and five against each other in their past 10. And the over eight is six, two, and one in their last 10 meetings. If you go back and look, they've scored nine runs or more in six out of those last 10 games, under eight and two, and exactly eight and one. I'm going to take Seattle. Um, Forgive me. I'm going to go Tampa Bay with the money line. I'm going to take Seattle with the runs, and I'm going to go over I don't know why I think Seattle keeps this a one-run game, just kind of looking at this pitching matchup. But who knows what happens when this game actually goes to the bullpen. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.